understand my daughter sought your counsel. And you refuse to entertain her flights of fancy, correct? It is no mere fancy, my lord. She does this for the sake of the people. We do not doubt her good intentions. It is the method with which we take issue. Highness. Good intentions, pet. Highness. My daughter, she is young and foolhardy, and will need your support. Highness. I heard you, Albert. What is it? Are you unwell? No, I am quite all right, thank you. Is that a shooting star? It must be. Right? But it was so low. Come! Highness! You are falling behind. Forgive me. What in the world was that? We must investigate at once. The woods are perilous at this hour. Please, I beg you. Perhaps we should get a closer look. You should not approach unidentified objects. Calm yourself. We can conceal ourselves in those shadows. Let us hide. My word, what is it? Nothing I have ever laid eyes on. I shall take a closer no, look. No, you mustn't. Stay back where it is safe. <sighs> but it cannot be. So it was a vehicle. One that traverses the sky, no less. But how? Could it be the Empire? I uh, is that? The Fiend of the Wield! It has found him! He is unarmed! Your sword, Elbaird! Quickly! Highness, we know not his... <clears throat> you there! Take this! Whoa! Whoa! Lady! You've a death wish. Two arms! No idea what's going on, but not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Aight! Let's rumble! Thanks for that. Don't know what I would have done if you... Silence. Who are you? <laughs> Sheesh. And if I tell you, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? After witnessing you exiting a foreign ship? <laughs> You're more fool than you look. Wait. Uh, you two know that's a ship? Let me guess. You're the assholes who shot us down, aren't you? Incoming. Long-range subspace transmission from Antonio Lawrence. Huh? Raymond! It's me, Antonio! Can you hear me? Ray! Come in! I knew you weren't alone! <laughs> Show yourself! Huh? Who in the hell are you? This isn't Raymond Lawrence! Step into the light! 
Hey, asshole. Harm a single hair on my brother, and your planet scorched Earth. You hear me? Raymond, where are you? How is this possible? This voice? I see no one. Uh, big ask, I know, but mind if I answer him real quick? After that, I swear, I'm all yours. Very well. Princess! If he truly had armed fighters waiting, we would be slain several times over by now. Go on, do not keep your comrade waiting, Sir Raymond Lawrence. Oh, why, thank you, milady. And uh, as for your butler, or whatever, mind telling him to back it up? How dare you! As you wish. We shall give you the space you ask in good faith. In exchange, you will tell us who you are and the nature of your talking airship. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like we got a deal. What the feds don't know can't hurt them. Antonio? It's me, Raymond. <sighs> Ray! Are you okay? Yeah, define okay. Had a run-in with the Federation, and it didn't end too well for the Yidus. What the hell? Emergency landing on some planet called Aster 4. Locals are real friendly. And listening right now. Are you shitting me? Chloe's down here somewhere too, but I lost track of her pod on entry. And big question mark on the rest. Look, you've got to get here, man. We need you. Sir Raymond? Antonio? Hey, that voice. That one of Aster's friendly locals. I can guarantee Raymond's safety while he is stranded in this land, on one condition. You answer my question. Are you aligned with the Vale Empire? The who? Yeah, uh, don't even know him. Vile dissembler! Albert! Your comrades, have you any idea of their whereabouts? Well, at the moment, not a clue. A girl named Chloe was riding one of these when she crashed way that away. And this ship, is it possible for anyone to pilot it? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point of it. That said, mine's run out of juice, so it's not going anywhere for the time being. So, if we provide it with more of this juice, theoretically, would we be able to pilot it? Aren't you a curious one? Huh? Can it be? Hey, speak of the devil. Madness. Oh, how magnificent. Computer, get me a read on that craft. Was it from the Yidis? Who's on it? Readings indicate the pod was also ejected from the Yidis. No passenger signal detected. Is there a town or something in that direction? Um, not That's a town, astonishing. no. Only the Madoom ruins. Albert, you must see this. Uh, Highness. Thanks for the info. Oh, and, uh, gonna hang on to this for a while longer. Halt! Sorry, buddy, but no can do. Hold there. We will accompany you. The ruins can be a treacherous place. And two friendly locals could assist. Oh, for the love of... Ah, fair point. Thank you. You may call me Leticia. And this gentleman here is Albert. Stand down, Albert. We are here to help him. Is that clear? As you wish. Awesome. Hey, Antonio. We'll catch up later, all right? Wish us luck. Uh, roger that. Stay safe down there. <laughs> you guys. I'll explain the ins and outs of all this junk once I know my crew's safe. So, we got a deal? Yes, we do. Shall we then, Raymond? Uh, uh, wait. No more full name stuff. Just Ray is good. <laughs> all right. Uh, Ray? Awesome. Okay, let's move.
are approaching the Madoom ruins. If we follow the pillars to the west, it should come into view. Can you tell our direction by reading the stars? Ah, but don't worry. Continue along this path. Read! Nothing shall see us deterred! Uh, it's been a while since I've swung a sword around, but... Full of monsters at night, huh? Guess I'm lucky to have met some people out here. Even if they are a little eccentric. for rest. Highness, we cannot trust this man. Perhaps, yet he intrigues me. Intrigues you? And another thing. I asked you specifically to not refer to me as Highness. Curses. He knows? If not already, then he soon will. It is important we remain on the best of terms with him. If we fail, then we will need him on our side. Those stairs! They lead to the entrance of the ruins. Got it. Let's go. Everyone all right? How exquisite. stairs look a little dangerous. Even if we did try to climb them, they'd probably give way. And then perhaps we should go around. The west side looks scalable, does it not? is poor in such darkness. Pray, mind your footing. I'm good. 
So long as whatever we just saw doesn't show its ugly face again. That holds dominion over this area. Rarely should it appear at all. Well, that is... You have some killer moves. Pretty used to fight monsters too, by the look. Is that all good for everyone to live here? Yes. Well, more or less. Uh, whoa. Well, that's over with. So, this is Medum, huh? It's friggin' massive. Ancient and powerful Osarian Semiomancers once called these hallowed halls home. As written in the old texts. Okay, didn't get all of that, but I'll save the Q&A for later. For now, let's focus on getting in and getting out. I'm well aware! Another day. So exquisite. Do mind your footing. It is much safer not to stray from the path. Thus not turn down a chance for rest. on the regional history, but folks here don't seem too friendly. Before the kingdom became as we know it now, this was the heart of civilization in the western part of the continent. It is said that much of the culture and knowledge that served as the foundation of our kingdom was created in this very place. So the riffraff left behind by the changing times wind up here, left to fend for themselves, huh? I'm coming! 
Nothing gets it. Prepare yourselves for battle! Escape pod signal above. Correct position. No passenger signal identified. Where did that voice come from? Who goes there? Show yourself! We already know it is not the enemy, Albert. Be at ease. Let us concentrate on the very real enemies before us, shall we? Uh, yes. Very well, then. Exquisite! Last, we have entered the ruins. Right, let's keep going. Please, please, please be okay. You gotta be kidding me! What is it? Elena... Why? Ray... Why'd I have to play the hero? Why couldn't I just get in a damn escape pod? <laughs> Some captain I am. Uh, Ray! Duma production model 004213 activating. Confirmed. Life forms in need of protection. What? Warning. Warning. Hostile entities identified. Engaging defensive mode. Highness, are you all right? I believe so. But what? What is this? Later. Right now, we've got company. I got this.
Decided to bring out the big guns, huh? It's me. Your guess is as good as mine. I thought it was yours. More like in my care than actually mine. Duma, is that correct? We know you have the faculty of speech. We heard you. Oh, feeling shy, are we? Oh. <laughs> Ray, might this be some new form of semiomancy? There's that word again. Is it like your version of symbology or something? Symbology? Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, thanks you two. I really appreciate it. Oh, and while I'm at it, here. And what will you do once we part? Well, try and figure out where my friends are, for one. Uh, these lands are vast. What will you do for lodging, for food, for survival? What if your companions are across the sea? Would you swim? To that end, Ray, I have a proposition for you. Assist us in our journey, and we shall assist you in yours. Are you sure that's smart? Only thing you know about me is my name. And we ought rectify that at once, for learning more about the other is sure to benefit us both. Highness? Albert, should Raymond agree, he will be in our care. Whatever comes of this, I shall bear the consequences. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Leticia Asarius, Crown Princess of Asarius. And this is Albert Bergholm, my royal retainer. Oh, shoot. I thought he was kidding when he called you Highness. Oh, you think us liars? Uh, put yourself in my shoes. Doubt you'd be saying anything differently. <laughs> Indeed. Not over far from these ruins is the village of Larset. There, we shall find a quiet moment to talk. I, uh, might have to hold on to this for a while. Please do. Consider it a symbol of the trust we have placed in you. Morning already? 
Well, this is a fine mess we found ourselves in. Think of this as something new. Something extraordinary. This Larset place. Anyone near here? We should be able to reach it by evening if we leave immediately. Ah, uh, you do realize we're running on no sleep, don't you? If I may, I think I know how to make the trip a deal safer. We employ Duma. Its powers of levitation should let us skirt any dangers. That true? Oh, we forget they are a bashful sort. How inconsiderate of us. Threat detected ahead. not turn down a chance for rest.
be neutralized. Well, that's over with. We are nearing the exit of the ruins. We must pass southbound through this forest in order to reach Larset village, must we not? Yes. If we continue southeast from here, we should be near the place where we first met. Ah, that's so. Well, if it's on the way, mind if we stop by my pod for a sec? Of course. Let us be off, then. Threat detected ahead. <laughs> down a chance for rest. Initiate emergency protocol. We have the down. Right. You will not be the last. Destroy. We must pass through the forest to reach Larset village. Time offers us no respite. I know. I'll be quick about it. We have come. Well, that's over with. So exquisite. Threat detected ahead. Bleed! Threat neutralized. Another death. Huh. It uh, should be just a little ways more to the east. Let me call my brother real quick before we head out. It is uncouth to eavesdrop on a family matter. And to unconditionally trust these two is folly. They could very well be exploiting our ignorance for their own personal gain, and we'd be none the wiser. Think you can trust them? Does it matter? I need them. But even if I didn't, they're reasonable people. Plus, they saved my life. That's enough for me. <sighs> Albert? Uh, it's nothing. Hey, uh, uh, my bro says he wants to talk with you guys. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, yes? Ah, uh, 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 yesterday I was pretty upset and said some pretty rude things to you. Apologies for not doing this face to face. I'd like to make a fresh start. My name is Antonio Lawrence. Raymond's older brother. Uh, Sir Antonio, my name is Leticia Asarius. And with me is... Uh, um, Albert Bergholm, sir. Miss Asarius, Mr. Bergholm. I'm sure Raymond here comes off as a strange and weird man. But please, 
look after my little brother for me? The Lord's family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. We always pay our debts. Nothing to fear, sir. We shall do our utmost to ensure the safety of your brother. I appreciate it. Ray, try not to be too much of an annoyance to your new friends. Good luck. Over and out. You are loved. I wish, but nah, you just can't help treating me like a kid. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't wait to sleep in a bed. Let's get going. Agreed. Let us depart. Come on, let's make our way to that village. Right. Uh, Larset village is to the south. continue on our southward course, we should depart the forest. Excellent. The village is just beyond it, then? Unfortunately not. It will take us some time to pass through the Larkus region. We are now entering the Larkus region. Come, let us continue to the south. Right, let's go. Much easier without all the trees, too. <laughs> Agreed. This is the ideal terrain for walking. <laughs> Threat detected ahead. Threat <laughs> <Fire. Light> neutralized. <laughs> <laughs> Neutralized. Your Highness, the village of Larset lies to our west. West, indeed. Ooh, boy. Can't wait to keep my feet up. Oh, and take a hot bath. I'm second to laugh. Come, 
Let us feel that. Destroy. I grow yet stronger. You'll not be the last. Fly! Let's be collapsed. That village is not far now. at last you must be exhausted shall we retire to the inn don't you think we should hide that thing kind of makes us stand out i do not think it an issue as it closely resembles a semiomancer's orb such as the one over there a semiomancer's orb huh all right then Besides, I would like to prioritize our lodgings. A nice rest will do us all some good. We have arrived. the kind of meal that makes you glad to be alive. All right, so, where do you want to begin? First, would you mind telling us whence you hail? If you thought I said some weird stuff before, brace yourself. I'm from another world, one that's far, far away in the sky. Another world, you say? Far away in the sky? You know, like how you can cross a mountain to get to another village, or the ocean to get to another continent. If you fly high enough, you can cross the sky and reach other worlds. Like the stars? Which star do you call home? Whoa now. One, it's a planet, not a star. Two, you can't see it from here. I've never heard something so asinine. Well, that's because people on planets like yours don't usually learn this for a couple hundred more years. Anyway, my job is to transport cargo between planets. And we now know, Duma was my cargo. My vessel, the Yidis, was attacked by another planet's battleship. And I was forced to flee here. Right now, I'm looking for a crew member, Chloe. Gotta be traipsing about here somewhere. Oddly lackadaisical way of describing being lost in an unknown land. She's got a good head on her shoulders. And she's great with languages. And roughing it a little won't bother her. And now, I'd like you to answer something for me. What's a princess doing sneaking around outside her castle? With only one bodyguard in tow? Because I too am looking for someone. Per my intelligence, at one point, he was seen entering the Medum ruins. Therefore, I have a proposition. In return for helping in your search for Chloe, I would like you to assist us in ours. Sure, but uh, I don't know how much help I'll be. I'm not even from here. 
The person we seek is hardly congenial, but he is inquisitive. Your presence will be more persuasive than any argument we can make. Sounds like I got my work cut out for me. Perhaps some further information would help. His name is Midas Felgreed. He was a former Meister, one of the three most accomplished Semiomancers in all of Osarius. It was long in the coming, but I have finally taken steps forward. I trust that you are willing to help me take a few more, Duma? Hmm? Strange. What is he doing at this time of night? So, it falls to me! it. Hey, princess. How's it going? Attempting to walk myself to sleep. My apologies. I should not be burdening you with our troubles. Hey, I'm the one who said we should join up. I would have never been able to take care of food and lodging by myself. So don't be shy. Let me help you too. <laughs> well, if you insist on it then. Atta <laughs> girl. We don't need more than one negative Nelly around and Albert's got us covered there. I am the reason he remains so troubled. Please try not to think ill of him. No, no, no. I know. I know. I guess he's uh, been through a lot, right? All those worries had turned anyone's smile upside down. Do you feel no need to inquire, to fill in said details? Where we are is within the kingdom, and Albert's always wary of the Empire. The princess of said kingdom is sneaking around looking for a banished wise man. I can imagine said details. There's bound to be bumps in the road ahead. Let's at least enjoy the quiet while we can, princess. Might I, then, ask something of you? Sure, name it. Could you refrain from calling me by my royal title and use only my name? I gotta think that's gonna make Albert a little mad. Yes, well, we are undercover, and this would make things enjoyable for me. Do you agree, Ray? Yep, gotcha. Well, 
About time to hit the hay. <sighs> I too believe I shall return and rest. Now that I have spoken my mind. All right. Good night, Leticia. Yes. Have a good night, Ray. All righty. Let's head back to the inn. Oh, and hey, do you think I could keep using this weapon? Of course. Consider it yours. There is also a merchant within the village. Shall we take a look tomorrow? Sounds good. Gotta be ready for anything around here. Make sure Duma doesn't get up to anything. It's important cargo. Don't want it breaking. They have been nothing but obedient while in my care. Still, can't be too careful. Very well. <sighs> oh, it seems the Sandman finally has me in his clutches. I should return. Leticia, you should probably get some rest. Looks like there's something written on it. I don't know what it is, but here, you can have it as thanks. Thank you so much for finding Chicham. Say thank you, Chicham. I will not be at my best tomorrow if I do not rest soon. Not to mention the earful from Albert. Let us return to the inn. Good night. Morning. Before we head out, I just wanted to thank you again. So, thanks, Leticia, Albert. Good morning to you too, Ray. So, uh... Where exactly are we headed? I kind of forgot. The mining town of Delric, which lies far to the south. Once we reach it, we can take stock of our situation. Oh, right, right, sorry. This is the first time I've had a good night's sleep in a while. I'm still not quite with it yet. Then you'll have yourself to blame if you are attacked. Stop the essentials. Have a look. 